For the fourth year in a row, Family Circle Magazine has partnered with the American Heart Association for the Start Walking Challenge, and now they want to get you involved and also tell you why heart health is a family affair. I'm joined by Family Circle's Health Director, Meg Raglan, and the spokesperson for the American Heart Association, Layla Ali. Good to have you here, ladies. I don't want to be, you don't want to beat us up, so we got to definitely no, join no, the show. No, 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 yes, please. Let's not <laughs> go there. us too. First of all, congratulations on your son. He's, what, 19 Thank you. months now? 19 months, See? and congratulations to you. Thank you very much. The time goes by fast, it right? It does. So obviously heart health is important to you, um, not only being a mom, but you know, also trying to take care of everything that you've got going on as well. Why the American Heart Association? How'd you get involved? Well, you know what, heart disease runs in my family. I have family members who have diabetes, you know, struggling with obesity, and we have a problem with that in America. So I think that it's very important to spread the word and educate people how important it is just to do something as simple as walking. Mm -hmm. And with the Start Walking initiative that uh, the American Heart Associ Association has going on, I just had to get involved right. and help spread the word. That's good. Good to have you as a spokesperson, yes, too. thank you. Now, Meg, let's talk to you because I know you guys have done this for, this is their fourth year, and you are really focusing on families this time around. How is it different? Yes, we've always focused on heart health, but yeah. this year we're really trying to get families out there to walk together and find creative ways for the moms and dads to grab their kids and take them along. And it's, again, a three-month-long program, so it's in our May, June, and July issues. Mm -hmm. And it's a 12-week program, and we have great meals to go along with it and great expert tips, like from the president of the AHA. Startwalkingnow.org is a website that people can go to, and there are over 200 walking paths wow. that are in place for people so they can find them on the website and there's also a fitness tracker mm -hmm. so it's a great resource for people it's really it's really easy to get out there no and start walking. at least 30 <laughs> minutes a day is what's recommended I was just gonna ask you when you first start out how long should you be going for and when should you stop so 30 minutes is a good starting point, right you want to you want to strive definitely for at least 30 minutes a day our program starts for beginners so the first day you walk out your front door walk for seven minutes out and come mm -hmm. back 15 okay. minutes that's, that's to bad. start and that's to start, so you get into the habit, and then over the course of the three months, it increases. You know, I really enjoy just walking with my son in the stroller or going for a run, because, you know, they have the walking strollers. So I find myself doing that a lot. There's a lot of hills in my area, so I can sprint up the hill, you know, so, right. it, yeah. In our May issue, we really focus on lowering your cholesterol. So we have um, a diet that helps them limit the a number of bad fats that they're eating. Um, it increases the amount of fiber in your diet to help wash that cholesterol away. And then we have some superfoods that you should be eating to help lower your cholesterol, like nuts, beans, and even dark chocolate. How do they get involved? FamilyCircle.com slash walk 2010.